Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today is the second episode of my Christmas with Mia series. I thought I would do an episode that was actually kind of Christmas slash like gift related and also fitness related, just kind of merging topics together. I've never really done a video like this before, um, so I feel like it'll be fun. Hopefully it'll be helpful to all the boyfriends and girlfriends that will be watching this video. If you need some gift ideas, if your partner is also a gym rat but this is going to be a hers edition so if your girlfriend your sister your mum your grandma all of the girls in your life if they are gym rats then hopefully i can help you out with some gift ideas for christmas i wrote this big list down in my notes in my phone earlier and they all literally just kind of came to me they just popped into the top of my head and I was just kind of looking around my stuff and I was actually thinking of like gift ideas for me what I would want as well so hopefully it's as accurate as possible <laughs> so I'm gonna start with the kind of cheaper side of the gifts and the ones that are obviously not as expensive and just some little things that you can get maybe like put in a little hamper sort of thing or maybe like a stocking fillers and stuff like that that are just obviously not too expensive so we're going to start off with a water bottle now it might seem like the most simplest most boring present ever however i cannot live without my evolu bottle this is on the pricey side this was around 35 pounds but that is just because it is like a flask you don't have to get a flask version you can just get a normal plastic bottle that you can probably get them for like 10 pounds you could probably get them in aldi amazon like you can get these big i've got one oh yeah i've had this bottle for ages now and this is like two liters and i think it was about 10 15 pounds from amazon if i hadn't recently just got this i would have asked for a really just solid good bottle that you don't have to keep kind of like throwing away and stuff um you want one that's durable i think there's also some chili ones that are really good they're like flasks but i personally love this one it's huge and you know evolve you you can't go wrong but yeah i'm sure any gym rat his or hers would appreciate a good water bottle you literally can't go wrong even if you're not a gym rat <laughs> get a water bottle honestly game changer in drinking my water on a daily basis like it's helped me increase my water intake so much so i would highly recommend that as a present for anyone okay and then this might sound like the weirdest present however i just feel like i get lots of questions about this on my socials and people are a little bit stuck in this area so i would say some seamless underwear some seamless knickers off amazon nude seamless you know i am sure any gym girl would appreciate that it might sound weird but give those to your girlfriend and she will appreciate it because me personally might be a bit TMI, I'm not bothered, but I go commando in my leggings. I just, it just causes no issues with like pant lines and stuff. It's just easy and simple. However, if I wasn't going commando, I would wear nude seamless underwear. So yeah, you'll be able to get some from Primark, you'll be able to get some from Amazon, H&M, anything. Just get some cheap ones and I'm sure she'll appreciate it. Okay, next I would say a notepad for tracking. So I sometimes take these notepads into the gym with me to track my weights. I find that it's really helpful, um, obviously, in tracking weights. You can do it in the notes on your phone as well. However, I've, I know some people like to actually have it physically written down. And I just feel like it's a really nice present to get someone like a really nice notebook. I feel like you can't go wrong with it. You don't just have to get it to track weights either. You can get it to put anything in you know you could just get like sort of a diary sort of thing this is this says little book of big ideas which is quite cute but all the pages are like blank like that so you can get it for anything you could i write my goals and stuff down in this as well as well as weight tracking but i'm sure any gym rat would appreciate that girl or boy you can get those from amazon wh smiths you can get one from anywhere but if you are struggling for anything go to amazon <laughs> and then on the note of books i want to just talk about this book in particular so this book helped me a lot with kind of motivation motivational wise and actual like informativeness wise as a gym girl it's obviously chrissy as you can see and i feel like it's just a really inspiring book fitness wise and just being a woman wise it's very inspiring very motivating and I would just highly recommend it as a book to get your girlfriend. I'm sure she would appreciate it. You can, I got this off Amazon. I think, actually, I actually think I saw this in WH Smith. I think I might have got this in person. But I think this is about 10, 15 pounds. Oh no, 16.99. But honestly, I would 
have loved to have got something like this as a present yeah it's just really insightful um as a woman in the fitness industry okay now shame shameless plug because we're talking about the cheaper side of things and this is actually on the cheaper side of things in relation to the other things that i have on my list and that would be a workout guide and i'm obviously gonna plug my own workout guide but obviously you can buy any workout guide you want that appeals to you but i just think a workout guide is a really nice little present for someone that it's it's maybe the kind of thing that you don't really want to actually buy for yourself and it just it's just a nice little gesture for someone to buy for you especially if you may be in a little bit of a rut or something and you've kind of noticed that your partner is like losing motivation a little bit i'm sure that they would appreciate that. I would definitely appreciate that if my partner actually noticed that I was kind of going through a little bit of maybe a rough patch in my fitness journey and that I actually thought about getting something that would help kind of spur me along motivation wise. But yeah, my guide is £30 and it is a full like body split, workout split. It's a four to six day split with two days being optional. It focuses on lower body and upper body and it's a pretty intense guide. I just want to kind of reiterate it's not really for beginners I wouldn't really recommend for beginners just so that you know it's pretty advanced but yeah it is 30 pounds and I will leave the link in my description okay next on the list of kind of things on the cheaper side would be some long socks or just any nice socks in the gym I just feel like it's socks are just something that you would never want to actually go and buy yourself one because they are actually expensive for socks I'm like like I'm talking like some Nike socks is maybe like £30 and that is just not on. So I feel like that would be greatly appreciated by a gym person. <laughs> I would appreciate getting some socks if anybody, one of my friends is watching this, can get me some nice socks because all mine, they've all got holes in and they're all black at this point. So that also goes for boys and girls. <laughs> I don't know if Anton will watch this, but I might get him some socks. Okay, next on the cheaper side of the list will be straps or chalk. So these are the straps that I use in the gym. These are from Beast Gear. I got them from Amazon and I've had them years, honestly. They're really trusty. Pretty cheap. I think they're about £10-15. Pounds. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to use the straps that are in the gym. They're probably infested with every single type of illness you could think of. So I'm going to stick with my own. And that also goes for any kind of equipment. I have got some... Um, equipment and stuff on this list like a hip thrust pad, lifting bell, everything like that. I feel like they're really good presents. This is my hip thrust pad. It's from from Amanax. I don't know if that's the actual brand um, but I'm sure you'll be able to get them off Amazon. You can get so you can get all your gym equipment from Amazon and also some bands. These were kindly gifted to me by Evolve You. I don't know if you can see them through there. Um, I have yet to use them. However, I'm not really in my band era at the moment. I used to use bands a lot. I just don't really use them anymore. But they're in my bag for when I do want to use them. But if your girlfriend is a big fan of bands, these are really good. And they've got all the different colours for the different strengths of the bands and stuff. You can get these from the actual Evolve You website. Or you'll be able to get some from Amazon. And then the lifting belt that I have is actually in my other gym bag up there. So I'm not going to go get it. But it's from... Um, there's a girl called Caroline O'Mahone on Instagram and she's got a fitness like accessory brand called COM Fitness. I will try to leave a link in the description for it but my boyfriend got me ages ago. I don't actually think they sell the belt that I have got anymore but it's a lever belt so it's the one that you kind of like flick off. It's not a um, it's not a one way you like thread it through. It's actually a lever belt so it's got a plastic lever and you kind of like clip it on and off. I personally really love it. I used to use it all the time. I'm just trying not to use a belt as much anymore i'm trying to kind of like build up my actual strength rather than relying on a belt for it i probably would if i was going for like one rep maxes and stuff with certain movements however i just don't do that as often anymore so i've kind of ditched it for a while but yeah gym equipment and stuff is a really great present and they can be on the pricey side sometimes the belt that i got was pretty pricey i think it was about 70 pounds but it's it was really good quality belt really thick and everything like that the lever belt was like really yeah it was just really good quality and then talking of gym equipment i feel like this kind of like falls into the same category but that will be a gym bag so i have my trusty old honor active tote bag however the one that i was using before was just a nike actual gym bag it was just up there i just feel like if you don't have a gym bag now like what are you actually doing like are you actually okay 
Like, I, I, I actually want to ask a serious question. Like, are you actually feeling all right? I don't know what I do without my gym bag. I could not physically, like, carry all my stuff into the gym. It's just so much hassle. My mind would be so, like cluttered i just like throwing all my stuff into a bag and knowing that it's all in there and i honestly just leave everything in that bag every day i don't take things out of it unless like specific things but all my equipment i leave it in there all the time and i don't even need to check it before i go to the gym i just take the bag with me and i know that i've got all my stuff in it i could literally just leave that bag in my car overnight and know that everything will be there for me the next day yeah a good gym bag is obviously an essential for a gym rat. I feel like you'll be able to get so many on Amazon. As I said, Nike have got really good ones. That one is from um, Honor Active. It's a really good tote bag. It's really reliable. And obviously it's Honor Active. It sells itself. <laughs> okay, next up on the cheaper side still. We're still on the cheap. I'm just going to do cheap and then expensive. I'm not going to do cheap, middle and then expensive. Next up on the cheap side would be some energy drinks and just some kind of supplements in general. I feel like I would actually love to come down to the tree on christmas morning and see a big box filled with supplements that would be my actual dream obviously all my supplements are from ehp labs i do have a code which is mia i will leave it on screen and that will get you 10 percent off of all supplements and i just swear by ehp supplements i love them so much i take them every day and they never let me down. I just love them. They've got no horrible like chemicals and things in them that make you feel horrible and they're just my favourite supplements ever. I've tried a lot of supplements in my time and they are just my favourite. Ju I'll just run you through some of the like go-to must-have supplements that I personally think that you should get. I'll just give you some ideas if you're a little bit stuck. My favourite supplements would be Oxy Whey, which is the protein powder. I find it really easy to digest, although it is whey, it honestly doesn't mess with my stomach at all, which I find that a lot of whey proteins do. However, I've had no problems with Oxy Whey. It's just really easy to digest. And then we've got Oxy Shred. I like to use that as a pre-workout. I love it as a pre-workout. I just love all the flavours that they've got. There's just got a massive variety. And then we've got Pride pre-workout, which is just the gut of all pre-workouts you know this by now you know me it just gives you a five stage energy with no crash or anything no tingles and it just gives you a pump like no other and then obviously it depends if your partner or whoever takes these things but i would say creatine and glutamine are my personal top picks as well i have those every single day without fail with my oxy greens i would recommend those however i don't think they're in stock unfortunately everybody goes crazy for the oxy greens so unfortunately i don't think they're in stock but they would also be a holy grail product of mine but yeah those would be my top picks for supplements and as far as energy drinks go there's oxy shred ultra energy drinks which come in like a pack of 12 and i love having those as well i love the flavor cotton candy all right next up we've got gym shoes now can't go wrong with gym shoes i would recommend converse or or these trainers i do actually get asked about these quite a lot and they're the nike space hippie trainers i actually got them from the nike website online but i like to wear these on my upper body days and then i wear my converse on my lower body days just because they're flat i have to wear a flat shoe on leg days but yeah i feel like maybe if you've noticed that whoever the present is that you're getting if their shoes are a little bit battered you know maybe just don't even say anything just surprise them with some nice fresh shoes i feel like getting some nice fresh shoes gives you the same kind of motivation that a fresh gym set gives you which also takes me on to my next point of gym clothes obviously the most self-explanatory point of this whole video would be a gym set or multiple gym sets or just gym clothes in general this it this is basically just my dream christmas list to come down to this is just my dream if i had all this under my tree i would be one very happy girl obviously you know i'm going to recommend honor active to you you just know i feel like a lot of people did actually get gifts during the honor active black friday sale they did have an up to 50 percent off black friday sale um and they actually did have some really good deals on like effortless some effortless pieces were like 30 percent off was not expecting that i hope you managed to get some good presents for other people or yourself or whatever but you can shop through my support link in my bio if you want to kind of shop what's left of the stock. If you haven't got any gifts yet from Honor for Christmas and you think that they might need a really nice gym set, honestly, nothing compares to Honor, promise you. As soon as you wear that, you'll know what I mean. You'll just know you won't go back to any other gym brands. Yeah. Honor Active, always, always, always. I would just recommend a solid pair of leggings and a sports bra, whether it be the classic leggings or the effortless. Honestly, both are just unreal. And then any of the classic bras. Yeah. 
yeah i do have a support link in my description which you can shop through and it helps me out a little bit i do get a little bit of commission but mostly it just helps support my kind of relationship with honor so i would appreciate it massively and then on to the next point which is still on honor but that would be a good lounge set honor active honestly have the most beautiful lounge sets ever they're the most expensive looking and feeling lounge sets without actually being expensive like they feel like designer lounge like i have one designer actual designer lounge and then i wear honor active and honestly there's not even much difference i promise i feel like it's just such a staple present that you can't go wrong with just like a solid joggers and hoodie set and you're good to go and honor honestly have the best ones okay next up on the cheaper side would be a tripod now this is the tripod that i have i got this from amazon it's like extendable in loads and loads of heights basically goes like double the size of me which i don't know who would ever need it that tall but a really good tripod my old one was so bad because my phone basically kept like slipping out of it however this actually grips your phone into it and you can take it out and stuff and you can have it so you can put your phone in both portrait and you can do it landscape as well but i will leave the link for this in the description i feel like a tripod is just a solid present for a gym rat who is maybe just wanting to kind of expand their content creating side and they don't want to invest in it themselves i just feel like it's a really nice incentive as a present because you're kind of noticing someone's wanting to put a lot of work into what they're doing and yeah like it's just a really nice present to get if you want to put this on your wish list or you want to get it as a present then I would highly, highly appreciate this as a present. I hope you've all got those notepads out and you're building up these lists, I'm telling you. Okay, the rest of my gifts on this list are basically on the higher end, more expensive kind of side of things. So first up we have an Apple Watch. Now I have an Apple Watch. I am not even someone that uses it that much, to be honest. I don't really think I can vouch for saying this as a present. However, I do know that a lot of people love their apple watch and they use it all the time however i am kind of with my phone all the time so i don't really f i don't really reap the benefits of an apple watch i used to when i worked at my old job because i wasn't really allowed to go on my phone and have my watch on so i could see and reply to messages through it on there however as someone who is its literal job to create content i'm kind of always by my phone so I don't use my Apple Watch so much. I kind of like having it on because I like how it looks. And you can like obviously control stuff through it like your music volume, you can reply to messages and stuff and whatever. I still do think it's a good present for a gym wrap. And talking about Apple, I would also, I know it's very, very expensive, but I would recommend the Apple AirPods Max headphones. So this is these ones. I have them in space gray. I have actually just recently purchased these as you will have seen in my couple of videos ago, but these are them and I genuinely do actually really like them. They are £600 and I appreciate that is very, very expensive and I won't be spending that on anyone else. So. However, I'm kind of just recommending headphones in general. I did used to have the Beats ones. I'm not sure what like generation they were, or, like what type they were. I did like them. I just don't think they were that loud and I need to have my music like basically bursting my eardrums in the gym. Otherwise, it's just not getting me hyped up and i like that the apple ones have noise cancelling so i actually don't realize how much i could actually used to be able to hear the gym through my headphones when i have my beats and then when i have these now i can't hear it at all when i turn noise cancelling on because you can like turn it on and off um which the beats ones don't have however if you are wanting to buy maybe a cheaper set of headphones i still would recommend beats they are good and um, you're obviously just not getting the little extra benefits but i would buy someone beats obviously it's a little bit of a, it's a cheaper alternative to other things and if it was some something that i was getting someone else i would opt for those and i've also heard that bose headphones are really good as well and i also have the normal airpods the airpods first generation just the like original ones and I like those, I just don't like them to train in, I just feel like they fall out of my ears. I prefer them to kind of work instead, or maybe if I was on the train or something I would use my AirPods. But yeah, when I'm training they just fall out. Okay, next up would be kind of like on this whole clean girl vibe, gym girl vibe aesthetic, and that would be some good skincare. I'm sure any girl or guy would appreciate a good skincare set. Whether that be a face wash, moisturiser, anything like that. I don't have anything expensive. Like the only expensive thing that I use is probably the La Roche-Posay 
face wash that I have. It's like a blue bottle. You can get it from Look Fantastic. It's really good. I really like that. It's meant to be good for like acne and blemished skin, which is what I have. And I personally love it. I don't find it too harsh or anything. I've used it for a year now and it's been absolutely fine. And then the moisturiser I use is CeraVe which is about four pounds I think off Amazon um but yeah if you are looking for something that maybe not as gym related then I would maybe look into getting a skincare set you can get like gift sets where you get loads of different things inside it little minis and she can kind of like figure out what is her favorite and then buy it herself in a bigger version sort of thing I feel like you can do those with little bundles but yeah I would recommend skincare and actually some nice makeup as well I feel like you can't go wrong with a nice little bit of Maybe a little bit of expensive makeup if you want to branch out and be really nice. And then I've actually written down here an air fryer. I have recently got, uh, invested in an air fryer. Honestly, to be honest, they weren't really that expensive. It was about £60. However, you can get some on the hundreds side of things. But I have found it so, so convenient in cooking my meals, in meal prepping my meals, which is obviously a a big part of like fitness journey in my fitness journey anyway I meal prep every single week I find it so so convenient and an air fryer just really helps like you can just chuck loads of things in there especially if you get one that has multiple different compartments you can put multiple different things in you honestly just chuck it in and leave it and it's really quick I got mine off Amazon I think mine's a tower one I can't really remember but mine was quite cheap. Okay, and then I wrote down a massage gun. I used to have a massage gun. I don't use it anymore. But I do feel like some people would appreciate that. Because my boyfriend has one. He stole mine, actually. And I think he uses it sometimes. I just feel like some people, depending on what you do, would really appreciate that as a present. It is good, to be fair, when I do use it. It's just not something I reach for. It's a nice present to get. And you can get them off Amazon. You can get them off anywhere, really. And on the same kind of note, I would say a massage, like book, book in for a couple's or whatever, or just book them in, a massage or a facial. Honestly, I would absolutely love this as a present. If anyone's watching, let's get me a present. I would appreciate that a lot. Getting a facial, not in that way, okay? Don't be so dirty minded. I appreciate so much and a massage. I haven't got a massage in so long and I would appreciate that as a present so much. I'm manifesting that actually under my tree this year because I haven't been for one in a while. So I think that's a really good present. Book into like a little spa, have a little couple's work workout, have a little couple's massage, a facial or just book in with them so they can go by themselves. I would love to actually go by myself. I got a facial by myself the other week and I got my nails done. Or you could get them a nail voucher to get the nails done. Anything like that. Anything kind of girly um I would recommend. All girls love a bit of solo self-care time but yeah i think that is it for all the points the little presents that i had written down in my notes i hope i didn't miss anything out but i think i've kind of covered the, the main ground for a gym girl being one of myself i feel like i can vouch for a lot of these presents and i would want all of these but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful i hope i've helped you kind of build your christmas list to send to your boyfriend or your mum or your dad or your brother or your sister or whatever or i've helped you be able to kind of have a little light bulb moment in what to get your girlfriend or your mum or something for christmas i just hope it's helped i'll try to leave as many products linked in the description as i possibly can but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next episode of christmas with mia bye